I'm Adam. And I'm Brian. And we are Drinking, Drinking in, the in the Basement. basement. It's been quite a while since our last uh, episode. It has been. We're back outside. We're actually drinking in the backyard. Yeah, it's been so long that Brian forgot that I sit on this side and he sits on that side. I wanted to switch. And today we have an audience. Audience! Yay! Hey, whoa! Hey. Go, yeah! Uh, I didn't say it was a good audience, yeah. but we do have, we do an, have audience. an audience. <laughs> They're not very uh, All right, so, uh, energetic. Let me start. What's going on at the store? <laughs> what is going on at the store? You have something coming up. You're going to be on vacation. Yes, I will. But we have our summer tent event, uh, July 23rd. Sitting at Saturday in July. It's Saturday in July. Third. Um, I think it's $15 this year. 1 to 5 as usual? 1 to 5 p.m. Come early because parking will be at a premium. We'll have beer outside and we'll have uh, liquor, wine inside, and it'll be a good time. Are we going to have food like organized, stuff? organized chaos? Hot yeah, they're having stuff? some kind of um, they're having some kind of food or truck. So you're not going to be like grilling that. hot dogs? No, we don't grill hot dogs anymore. We hire somebody to. So oh, going food. upscale. I didn't say that either. Okay. All right, so today we're going to be drinking some beers, some local beers, which were brought over to my house by my friend Pat. Really? Thank you, Pat. Oh, um, and uh, I guess the first one we're going to be drinking are from Tight Head in Mundelein. Tight Head's in Mundelein. It started in 2011. It's right by the um, Mundelein train station. Actually, they are probably going to be at our um, tent event. They have been in the past. Even before they had bottles, they just had it on tap. They would come and pour, pour it, even though you couldn't really buy it except in a barrel. Do you know what the Tight Head is? What, what sport that's from? It's from... Uh, Rugby, it's position okay. in rugby. I was just asking if you knew that. I passed the test? You did, you passed the test. All right, perfect. Um, I just thought it was a flaming football, but it's a well, rugby thing. I've never played rugby in my life, so I don't, I don't really know what the position but now I know. does, but I know it's a position in rugby. Yep. All right, um, so the first beer we're trying is... Which one? Well, the one I have in my glass. The Bear's Choice, I like which I've been drinking. It's a good one. Bear's Choice IPA. Obviously, this one's in a growler. I think if I remember right, I've drank this there at Tighthead. I right. think it was made as a seasonal beer, I think, for football season. But then it became extremely popular, so I just make it. It's like the most popular beer. That and the Chili Waters Pale Ale is the one that's on tap in a lot of restaurants. It, is. it says right on the yep. uh, top. It says, can you see that? Bear's Choice. Bear's Choice, yeah. So traditional India Pale Ale, hoppy, a little bit yes. of citrus on it. I'm not really a big fan of hoppy, but I am about to finish this beer that was poured for me during dinner. Mm. Oh, it's very good. Happy pale. I, I like this beer a lot. Yeah. I mean, if you like IPAs, you like this. Again, yep. <clears throat> not really my style. I know you like the hoppiness yeah. much better than I do. Um, solid. That, the Bear's Choice and the Chili Waters are two good pale ales, both of which I like. I have a tight head growler in my kitchen. As of right now, it's empty, though. I'm sorry. So we're gonna do now. Uh, do you want to do the so, Emmett? Do you want to go? Stay, stay I think we stay with Tighthead head because this Go Go Wit, Melton style Wit beer, but it has hops in it. I'm, I'm thinking that this is baseball thing. Those hops coming out of the baseball. So I'm thinking this might be a hoppy beer. That's... Our director is not telling me whether it's okay or not. He's no, he's staring. distracted. He's distracted. He's just staring at me. And all the women here are making fun of us. And, like I said, all the women here are making fun of us. Ooh, that's light. Yeah, very light. Pilsner Wait, malt, you oats, oh, you said bittersweet, it's sweet. It looks like a orange beer. peel, coriander. Coriander? Coriander. I mean, it's light, but you can see the... Um, it looks like a wheat beer. It's going to be really... It's going to probably taste weird after that Bear's Choice, though. We probably should have had that later. Probably. Oh, well. You had to finish what was in your glass because you drink these things slowly. That's very... Do you show the picture of the look on the camera? Yes. You did? These are dogfish head glasses. No, I have a Shafley. Schlafly from St. Louis. No. Well, the same distributor sells Tighthead and Schlafly. Really? Shout out to uh, Lodge. Hi, Jay. Oh, that's light. Yeah, actually, this is pretty good, especially... Because you don't warm, like the warm day. You don't um, like the hoppiness. So this is good. Warm day. This is the Fourth of July. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday, it's America! Good. Hi, Gabby. Okay. You want to try the Emmett or go to this? I, I, There's no happiness in this. None at all. 
But I, I don't know what this was supposed to be squeezing out of this baseball. It looks like a hop, but it must be something else. So I am not a big fan of Belgian beers. So I don't know what to expect out of this. All right, well, why don't you get up and show it to the camera? No, I'm finishing my beer okay. while you do that. So this is Hat Trick Triple. It's a Belgian-style Trappist ale. Wow, was that creaking when you got up? No, I just cracked my back. Um, brewed in the tradition, respect for the Trappist monks. So it's a holy beer. Yeah, I mean, I I like this one. This one's uh, really growing on me. No, that that that's a good one. That that's this. I well, we'll see. It worked for someone that really likes Belgian beers, but I don't think this will last till tomorrow. You should put it in your growler. Just give me it a little bit, because you've uh, a little bit. Well, you've talked it up so much. Well, you may like it. You, I like things you don't like. That's why we do this. Right? I mean, this actually is a similar color to the last. It's a little darker. No, it, it's, it looks fine. Thank God you got up that time. I got a nod from our producer. They're sanding away paint next door. Hi, Gib. <laughs> yeah. Not a fan of Belgian beers. Well, Some people love them. This one's a Mundelein beer. It is. It's Mundelein. It's Belgian Mundelein. Not a fan. I mean, I, I know some people love them, but I just don't like them. They don't do it for me. So it's got a strange nose to me, but I don't mind the taste. Yeah. I like it better than the Beer's Choice. IPA. Oh, I love the Beer's Choice IPA. I like this Gogo Wit a lot. This one, I just Belgian. No. I don't know why the I don't know what the Belgians think their beer. Why they think it's good, but I don't care. No, I think it's pretty good. See, we like different things. The well, that's why they make more than one beer. That's right. So this Go Go Wit is five percent alcohol, eighteen IBUs. You know what IBU is? Yes, it's the rating. Uh, shut up. And the triple is eight point nine percent, twenty seven IBUs. I'm sure that one is probably closer to fifty or sixty IBUs. Probably alcohol in the six to seven percent range. That's my guess. No, this is doing for me. All right. Um, I like that. No, um, well, here you go. Oh, the sweetness of the finish. Just a little weird. All right, so now. Last one. Last one. Emmett's. Also local. We're getting a flyover. So I know Emmett's from um, actually chaperoning my brother in law around. It's over in Palatine. Um, I don't think the Palatine one's the original. I think it's. They have Downers Grove, they have Wheaton, they have like four or five locations, but it's still definitely a maker brew, local. This is their hopped wheat. Mm. Sounds <clears throat> hoppy. 1999, Palatine, Illinois, on Brockway Street. So downtown Palatine, kind of close, actually right next to the train station. So some of the train station parking, once the day is over, you can park there for Emmons. Just saying. Or you could take a train there, maybe, and that way you're not driving. You could. But this is a hopped wheat. I'm guessing this may be a little bit like Gumball Head from Three Floyds. Hopped wheat. That's what Gumball Head is. 5.3%. Well, a lot clearer. Right? Yeah. There's not. Oh, it's really clear. Unlike the other the other ones. Let's see right through it. You can smell the hops in it. It'll be a little more bitter than the last two we just had. Just like Gumball Head. Oh, I like uh, it's it. not as hoppy as the first one. No, but it's a wheat beer, so it's going to be less hoppy. But it's like Gumball Head. It it's actually okay. Like Gumball Head. It's okay. I like the middle two better. Middle so, two are better. my favorite, Bear's Choice. I knew I liked that one the best. And then the hopped wheat. This triple, I wouldn't drink. And the Go Go Wit's fine. At, so, I know. go 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 Wit, the triple, and then. Um, Probably the Emmett's and last I would put the beer's choice. So we're almost exactly opposite. Perfect. No, yeah, perfect. All right, so to summarize, drink local now, I guess. Oh, a lot of good stuff local. And uh, come find it at Antioch Fine Wine and Liquors and come to our tasting on July 23rd from 1 to 5. I won't be there. 
I don't know if Brian will be there or not. Maybe he'll be signing autographs. I don't know. <laughs> I think but, I'll be at a baseball um, tournament. I think we better close this one out because, you know, Brandon has a date tonight. Brandon does have a date tonight. we got to take him over for the red, white, and boom in Lincolnshire. Have yes. fun, Brandon. Have fun, Who's bud. Brandon? And happy 4th of July to all of you. Happy 4th. We are drinking, drinking in the basement. basement.